Hey, what's going on everybody? Master Luke here, back for another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where the last time we made it here to the land of Moritha, a destroyed city with a giant lightning tornado going in the background. Um, and we seem to have lost our friends. But hopefully they're just around the corner here. We only got 30 to go, so let's see if we can find them. I can't... I can't lose to these fools. Uh, Jin? He wound up here too. <sighs> He's still wounded from before. <sighs> Rex? You? You can't move, right? I can't just let you die here. Even if you are my enemy. Mitra? You must. But don't kid yourself that I think this is a good idea, Rex. Alright, hey, Jin joined our party. Level 50. We're higher level than Jin. Nice. Alright. Uh, should we can we play as him? Oh, nice, we're gonna play as Jin for a second. All right, let's take out this dead fire Goldo. The only thing that seems to be alive down here, even though it has dead in the name. So I guess we don't have an elemental ability. It's just Rex, I guess. Okay. All right, Deadfire Goldo. Man, these battles sure do take a long time. Especially when you only got two people going at it. Oh, that, wow. We, we launched him? Oh, Heavenly Disrupt, Topple Launch, and Smash. That's what it was. That's pretty nice. Did you help me? I'm our enemy. Yeah, we know that. Even so, it would have been wrong. I just thought I can't let it end like that. And no, it's nothing. <sighs> Hey! What? Those flames! You've got a lot to learn. You've got to burn these monsters up. That, or smash their core crystal. Otherwise, they'll keep coming. Bridget! Poppy! Gramps! Rex! Are you okay? Poppy, find friends! But... but Jin? <sighs> oh, really? So you lost Tor and the others? It's fine. Master Pan is not as soft as he look. It's faint, but I can feel the energy signature of Morag's weapons. She must be here, too. Okay. Let's rest up, then go look for them. Hey, Rex. What about that scumbag there? Ah. I think I beat him up pretty bad in that fight. I couldn't just leave him to die. I thought it would be something like that. Huh. Your sweet, bleeding heart. So, what are we going to do? Uh, Mithra? Maybe you could, uh... Fine, whatever. Give me a sec. Incredible. 
Incredible. What awesome power you've acquired. This is the power of the Master Blade. The Master Blade possesses the data of all Blade cores. This is... What's wrong? His heart. It's a human heart. Huh? He's... a flesh eater. What? What did you do to me? Be easy. You'll be fine. It's not perfect, so be careful with it. Mithra. My name. You still remember it, do you? I guess that makes sense. You never did return to your crystal, did you? <sighs> You're a lucky man, Jin. You've been given the second chance you denied to many brave Ardanians. I doubt your luck would hold up so well if Morag were here. Mithra, didn't you and Jin? Yes. We fought together against Malos. Once. That's why I need to know. Why? Why did you take Malos' side? You really want to know? You only think you do. If you knew... It'd destroy you, too. I can guess. And I can tell you. It didn't lead me... ...to the same conclusion as you. <sighs> Laura... ...she's in there, isn't she? <sighs> With everything you've done... ...we can't forgive you. And... ...if you're gonna keep standing in our way in the future... Keep trying to destroy the world. We will stop you. But right now... Naive kid. This is the land of Morathar. And it's a place of more wickedness than you can imagine. You know it. This land was destroyed long before all rest existed. Birthplace of the Architect. That's what Malos said. The... Architects? Jin, I know full well there's no easy way to change your mind. But hear me out. Let's regroup and climb up the world tree. Call it a ceasefire until then, okay? A united front? As you wish. It's not like I could take you on in this state anyway. All right, so I guess we'll stick with this. So where do we go from here? Well, there's no point heading back, so I guess we'll just press on. I guess so. Forward is the only way. We'll just have to head over that fallen building. We may have him with us, but he's not in the best shape. We have fewer fighters around than we used to. We should exercise caution as we proceed. Alright. Oh, and then our Merc group came back. Perfect. Alright, got some new contracts there. Awesome. Let's see. Okay. So let's... No. Let's see, who can we send out? Uh, yeah, we might not. Yeah, we might not do that one right now. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna wait till we have all our blades left. Zenobia is not even back, is she? Oh yeah, I guess she is. Fire mastery. Okay. Now we can send the rest.
There we go. Alright, so we sent them out. Um, and speaking of which, uh, the other day it was updated to, what is it, 1.3.0? Um, so now we got some new chests, or um, DLC to unlock. So upgrade parts for Poppy 2. 30,000 ether crystals. That's nice. Um, and... Eight legendary cores. Yes! And three overdrive protocols. Nice. Okay, that'll help us in case... I'm actually saving those for endgame. Um, just because we don't have them all yet. Um, but let's let's do that right now. Let's, let's see if we can get some legendary cores. Alright, compassion, justice... Three justice boosters, come on. I'm using all three. Let's let's view the awakening. Hopefully it's a rare one. Ooh, alright. Can soothe even the savage beast. Well, at least it's another bitball one. Oh, it's a it's a stone. I thought it'd be like wind or ice or something. Okay. Well, cool. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's set them in there. Where did they go? Did I totally? Oh, there it is. I'll do my best. All right. Let's do one more. And we'll use both compassion boosters. All right, come on. We need to get another new one. Ah, no. All right. One more, one more. Well, that's enough for now. Alright, so we got one. I'll stick with that. I'll wait for the rest of the party to come back before we before we do some more. Alright, you're engaging engaging Bridget right now, so you'd better make better live up to the exacting standards set by Morag. Make sure to use Bridget's capabilities to their fullest extent. Well, I'm I'm using Jin. I maybe they want me to We'll switch to we'll switch to Rex, just so the game works with us okay so we can't actually do anything with him he's just kind of on our team all right we just kind of like walk around as him um ursula we're swapping you out here for wait a second there we go how do we do this again oh yeah right stick there we go. Lock that one. Lock all the rare blades. I don't think you can. Well, you may be able to release rare blades, but I don't want to take a chance on it. I will do my best to prove my worth. All right, there we go. All right, and let's look at this. Anything new here? Okay. Oh, we haven't even played as her yet. All right, we'll go back. So this place was the the birthplace of the architect, huh? I feel like there was like a I don't know, fallen skyscraper. There's there's more behind this the whole architect thing going on. 
Because this could be just like a futuristic city. And then technology got so advanced that... Like, I've heard, I've heard that storyline a couple times in other, other media and stuff. Technology got so advanced that they had to go backwards. Oh, there's something in the dark over there. What is that? Is that a snake? Is that a snake? Sovereign. Bo Bogoan Sovereign? Oh, it's a robot. Okay. Oh, I ain't scared of no robots. All right, let's do this. Is Jin helping me out? I guess so. Go collect the health. There we go. All right. There we go. Oh, now it's enraged. Let's see. I was trying. How? What do we have to get to to unlock that um, Mithra's ultimate form? The Master Blade. Gamma ray, ray. Gamma ray, pop, pop, gamma. There we go. I was waiting for that one. You can finish somebody off pretty fast with that Jin's attack. Alright, let's see what this is. Is there anything down here? This looks like a door. Oh, I hear movement. Oh, I hear... I hear growling. Is this the dude? Oh, this is the same guy. Let's try working with Bridget and see if... Since her fire... It doesn't say they're weak to fire, but... She, there was a tutorial about it, so maybe... She's got different. It feel like she's got different attacks with me. Yeah, he died pretty fast. All right, I cannot see anything down here. I mean, it's telling me it's a ladder, but is that going up or down? Up. Maybe we are going the right way. Yeah, we gotta we gotta illuminate this place. All right, should have to come back here later. Oh, here's another ladder. Unless I just turned myself around. Hold up. Let me get my bearings. All right, this looks like a way out. There's a door. Nope, that's back to the same room. Okay. Here we go, here we go. All right, there it is. A switchboard on the other side. Of course. Is this the way we came up? Yeah. All right, so that's behind us. That's where we fought the robot. So where are we going then? No, this is where we came in through. Okay, so we are on the other side. Oh, we don't have enough that should do it. electric mastery here. It's been a long time coming. Always cute and fierce, though. There we go. It's my time. Oh, come on. That should do it. Back to the menu. Um.
Let's see. Let's just put on a rare blade. Rare. Or a common, I mean. You can count on me. Now we should do it. Okay. Maybe we can finally see where that... Hey, there we go. So we're not fooling around in the dark. Alright, let's see what's, what's over here. Okay, I see. There's like a little... Metal piece or something in the way, keeping me from going up. Wait, whoa, where'd I go? Oh, that's a dead end. That's what's going on. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, a chest. Nice. This is just such a big open room. I feel like it's perfect for a boss or something to jump down. And, of course, I have no uh, lockpicking skills. All right, let's see if I run directly in the center of something. Nothing? Okay, wow. All right, let's see what's in here. Are those people? Are those robots? What are those things? Highway 8. Yeah, this is starting to remind me more and more of Xenoblade X for Wii U. This land of Morathon. I know it's not directly tied to that game, but it's kind of this more city look to it. Makes me feel like that. Alright, jump down here. Time to take break? I think it might be. Much as I would like to find Lady Morag without a moment's delay, it's not wise to overexert ourselves. Rex in particular is the only driver we have right now. So it would be dangerous for Rex to tire herself out. I wouldn't say I'm worn out just yet. But you're probably right. Better to be safe than sorry. Jin, do you think this area seems safe enough? Yes, I don't see any hostiles present. Then break time it is. Can I have a word? I'm Bridget, but I hardly needed to introduce myself to you, did I? You must know practically all there is to know about me by now. The stuff in here, the old me, the me you knew. Is this journal the truth? I need to know if I can trust what I wrote in here. If you knew, you think it would change anything? Explain. The Bridget I knew. Well, you aren't her. It's like talking to a whole new blade. Makes sense. There's no going back to who I was. But I still need to know. I want to know what I did, what I really thought. And it seems wrong to just forget about the people who were important to me before. I need to remember them. <sighs> Jin, please tell. Really, Poppy is only just born. Doesn't know much. But even Poppy knows stories of old drivers very important. Very precious indeed. Memories of Master Pond very important. Poppy always thinks must make many more Master Pond memories.
So, I'm officially a Tornan driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. Very quiet. It is. Poppy think this world achieved very big technological advancement. Many buildings. Many people. Everybody probably very happy here. But it doesn't matter how many fancy tricks they learn. Deep down, they're all the same. They thought they were making their lives better with all this stuff. But in the end, it destroyed them. No. It's just a ruin. Poppy was made by technological advancement, too. Will Poppy... destroy the world as well? That's my problem, too. If this world is Father's world, the father made me to be as dangerous as any technology. Poppy and Mithra are the same? Yes. Kind of. But if... If Poppy destroys the world... Master Pan might get destroyed too. Maybe Mithra should destroy Poppy. Poppy? Tora created you. You could never do something like that. I know it. But... Hmm. Hey, let's make a promise. Uh, a, a promise? Yes. That's right, Poppy. Promise that... If you ever look like you're about to destroy the world... I will do what you asked of me. But... In return... Can you promise me something? What would you like from Poppy? Mithra is scared of destroying the world, too? Well, I'm doing my best to stop it coming to that. It's something else. It's... Huh? <laughs> no, actually. Nothing. I don't have a request right now. Can I think it over? Of course. Then let's promise. What's this? Master Pan taught it to Poppy. He said it's not on promise ritual. Lift hand up in air, then whoop, together. I see. I think we're all rested enough. Let's move out. We're slowly but surely getting closer to that world tree. Poppy just told Master Pond and others also headed for the world tree. Hoping is all we can do on that front. Even if we don't meet up with them on the way, I think we should wait a while at the base of the tree. That does seem best. What's the holdup? Are we leaving or not? I'm coming, I'm coming. Honestly, the nerve of this guy. It looks like the next stage of our journey will have to be that through that open. Yeah, let's get moving. Actually, I saw a dude up there. Look peeking out through the window. So there's going to be more enemies up ahead. Yeah, that window up there, he was looking out through it. All right, guys. Well, we made it a little bit more distance um, in Mortha, but make sure to join us next episode where we find the rest of our crew. So thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.